Hello lovelies, it's Danny from the Scrap FX Design Team for July 2021. Today I'm doing an art journal page in my Scrap FX junk journal. So I've started with a few acrylic paint colours. I've just picked a little bit of a uh, colour combination here and I'm using a spatula to pop that down but I really didn't like the texture it was leaving so I'm using my finger and I'm going to do a little bit of finger painting here. So I'm just loading up the page with a little splotch of the pinks, um, making sure I clean my finger in between and adding now a little bit of this blue. And I'm just sort of randomly placing that all over the page. Just drying in between as well, that sort of helps um, not over blend and get too muddy. little pop of yellow and I'm sort of lightening that down with a little bit of white as well just because it's so bright and I'm just going back over in some of those areas um, where I've just missed a little bit or it's not quite as opaque as I'd like it to be so just adding the colour and um, enlarging some of the spots where I feel like it needs to be but really just working um, without too much thought just trying to get that pattern down and just intuitively sort of adding the paint to the page so again just drying that off and just extending those little splotches again and adding little splotches of color and turning areas down with a little bit of white so just enjoying the process basically so this is a stamp set called in and out um, circles and I'm just using some archival ink just to stamp out the background um, another favorite stamp set here is seaweed and again just randomly stamping that out not really getting a full image but I'm quite happy with that now I'm just going over with my Posca pens and doodling over the top of those stamped areas from the circles and now just adding a little bit of mark making and I'm using similar colors that I've got in the background with my Posca pens this is the large from stamp it's just been released in larger sizes and they are brilliant So I'm just randomly stamping that again all over and here my my page is getting a little bit thick or the journal's getting a little thick so I didn't stamp out it quite as nicely as I wanted but I'm not too fussed about that mark making there it still sort of works with the page now this is an awesome new stencil that's just been released it's done by Claire and it's in two parts so it's actually a positive and negative of um, a face and the stencil is called Ella oh, sorry L and so I'm just using the first part of the stencil and I'm just stenciling that with some white acrylic and I'm just using a makeup sponge here just so I can get into all those crevices And I had a little bit of blurring, so I'm just going back over with my Posca pen and just sharpening those lines of the stencil. And making sure that Posca pen is dry, so that's where I'm drying in between so I don't make any more smudging. Now I'm lay layering the second part of the stencil over the top, making sure I've got it all lined up with the previous stencil. And I'm going in now with a bit of purple. And I'm just sort of using this purple because I thought it went well with the background tones. How good is that looking already? Such a great stencil and such an easy way to use, use it with these two combined stencil layers. So I'm just going over here with uh, my Prismacolors and I'm just adding some sort of hairlines in there and just sharpening up those um, lines of the purple 
extending her hair down a little bit further and just adding a little bit of um, extra shadowing and details to her face. You can see just with a little bit of pencil work how she's just starting to pop off the page. This stencil's a brilliant little stencil, especially for people that are a little bit unconfident with drawing. It's a great way to get a, a lovely image onto your page without too much hardship. So again, just going back through and just sharpening up some of those lines, adding some more hairlines in there. And you can see she's just really starting to pop off the page. She became a real focal point, which I was quite happy with. Now I'm just going around with my Prisma pencils around the stamped images and just adding some scribbly lines around those images. Just helps to get a little bit of uniformity. We've got that sort of scratchy lines on the stenciled face and now around some of those images in the background as well. I'm just using a little bit of paint to go around the edges. I'm using the same colour that I've used on the stencil and just edging my pages. And this is the rice paper creativity phrases. And I've just picked a little saying out of there and I'm going to cut that out. And I'm going to glue that down with some um, matte medium onto some white cardstock. This is a great way to get a quote onto your page without doing all the hard work. So just drying that off, making sure the glue's all nice and dry. And I decided to use the new stamp set that was released in July called Ladder Stamp. Just to add a little bit more texture to the background, a little bit more visual interest. And I'm adding some white splatter here. So back to the quote now and I'm just cutting that up into little sections and I'm going to add that down on the left hand side of the page. So again just using a little bit of the wet acrylic to edge the, the wording. And I'm just doing every third phrase there with a different colour. Using the same paints that I used in the background. Just so that we've got that rainbow effect still happening throughout the page. Giving it a bit of uniformity. I really didn't want to overdo this page because the image is such a stark, striking sort of image. I didn't want to add too much chaos in my background so I'm keeping it quite simple this time around. So just using a fine liner pen to scribble around the edges of that phrase. Life is a work of art if you don't like what you see paint over it. It's really resonated with me today because I spent the whole day procrastinating on doing this art journal page. And of course, I'm just adding a little bit of sari silk there to the tag. And that's it. Done and dusted. Very simple page, just using that beautiful stencil L. Again, designed by Claire. So I hope you enjoyed my little tutorial and have a go at some of these Scrap FX products. If you like what you saw today, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you think. Thanks for watching guys.